I admire about dealing with Xi is he understands. He makes no, pre no pretense about not understanding what I'm saying anymore into him. I pointed out to him, no leader can be sustained in his position or her position unless they represent the values of the country. And I said, as, and uh, Mr. President, as I've told you before, Americans value the notion of freedom. America values human rights. We don't always live up to our expectations, but it's a value system. We are founded on that principle. And as long as you and your country continues to so blatantly violate human rights, we are going to continue in an unrelenting way to call to the attention of the world and make it clear, make it clear what's happening. And he understood that and made it clear that no American president, at least one did, but no American president ever back down from speaking out of what's happening to the Uyghurs, what's happening in Hong Kong, what's happening in-country. In, in That's who we are. The moment a president walks away from that, as the last one did, is the moment we begin to lose our legitimacy around the world. It's who we are. So I see stiff competition with China. China has an overall goal, and I don't criticize them for the goal, but they have an overall goal to become the leading country in the world, the wealthiest country in the world, and the most powerful country in the world. That's not going to happen on my watch. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.